In this video, I'm gonna answer the question, should you build a low ticket funnel? And I'm gonna give you my personal experience because in the last year, I built two low ticket funnels for myself. And I was the guy who set the funnels. I was the guy who ran the ads. I was the guy who optimized the funnels. So I'm gonna give you my personal experience and I'm gonna share what's the one funnel that you must master no matter what the stage of your business. And I truly believe this video will be very useful for you because I'm someone who did the marketing campaign, the marketing campaigns for over 70 information products, consulting agency offers, etc., etc. So I'm going to give you an insider look of what you need to know about low ticket funnel, because when I'm, when I'm browsing these groups, when I'm on my Instagram feed, I see a lot of people saying, build a low ticket funnel, but this is not the whole picture. They're not giving you the whole picture and I'm going to give you the whole picture because in this channel, I talk about the, the struggles of marketing. If you open your feed, you're going to see a lot of people bragging about making 11 K per day, 20 K per day, per day, a hundred, 200 grand per day, but nobody talks about the struggles. So I'm going to give you also the negatives of a low ticket funnel. The funnel I'm going to talk about first is the one I built in October. I, lo I, I launched this funnel maybe in September or October 2023. And I was running this funnel until May 2024. I think I just took one month off because Facebook was crazy. So most of the months I was profitable. Some months I did 22-30% profit margin, profit some of the months my profit was like 10 to 15 percent some months i broke even and i think in february my funnel actually lost money and my funnel lost money because facebook ads were very unreliable for me cpms were crazy high if you were advertising on facebook you know what i'm talking about but the platform was not very consistent in order for me to make this funnel work what i had to do i had to create a new product to boost the average order value. So I created a $44 uh, dollar product on average that boosted my uh, average order value and I added a high-end coaching, high-ticket coaching. I was charging 1K for this, then I switched this to 2K. The problem with this funnel was the front offer, front ticket, the front-end offer was around $200 and not many people bought it. I think maybe like two to 300 people bought it, um, but data I was getting, I didn't have much data to optimize the backend so I could make the high ticket and work. So in order for me to work this funnel, I had to restructure it. So the funnel I, the funnel I created, I did another product and I set this product as a front end. So the funnel back then was structured. I think the front end offer was 27. The, the mid end offer was 97 and the high ticket coaching was at 2K. To my surprise, not many people wanted to buy this front end offer. It was not converting. So I needed like another, another way to make this funnel work. So I created a book funnel. And actually a lot of people started buying the book funnel. I cannot say the exact conversion rate, but I was getting maybe like 10 to 20 sales per day and it was like very low ad spend, maybe like 50 to 100 per day. So my ads, again, with the book funnel, the low ticket book funnel started breaking even. But the annoying part with this funnel was I had to do a lot of customer support. A lot of people messaged me and they were like, Hey, I cannot download my book. Could you send me the link? And it was just like a lot of manual work because no matter how good your follow-up system is, some people will never ever find how to download your book. And you could imagine this on a scale of like 1000 sales per day. Still, the struggle I had with, with this funnel, I couldn't link the front end to the high end, to the high end offer. I needed a lot of time to optimize it, a lot of time and a lot of data. Usually a lot of people will say it's easy to optimize the 
low ticket funnel so you get high ticket sales but the process actually takes a lot of time for example a lot of the book buyers would be like oh i should read this book first and then i might uh, get something else this is this is my experience for some of you it might work in a different way so meanwhile i decided to build just a high ticket funnel just a book a call funnel so the first funnel high ticket funnel i built was a vsl funnel people go to leave their name and email then they watch a vsl the vsl invites people to book a call and once people book the call they talk to me one-on-one -on -one. and i launched this funnel so on this funnel i think i spent around 500 to one thousand dollars what i noticed is that people are completing the opt-in but not many people are watching the vsl so the the page actually got like a lot of visitors maybe like let's say for every 100 visitors i noticed that only like 40 percent will watch the video and i wasn't sure what's the problem my initial idea was that people are coming after a facebook ad and they don't want to watch the video the second idea i had the video was not really controversial the video was not really how should i say it it wasn't nerve striking enough it wasn't converting so i decided to rebuild the funnel but instead of using an opt-in page i used just a simple sales page like just like some ad copy like some sales copy and a call to action very very simple funnel just text and some images uh, and from the results i get actually i launched this funnel on friday so from friday i'm recording this video on monday i got maybe like six or seven calls booked i think two or three of the leads are qualified oh, so what i need to do would be to jump on sales calls and close those deals right with that being said i'm just gonna share my thoughts on the funnels if you want to be really successful and if you want to crush it you need to have a system to get how high ticket orders in place and i mean this if you are in the consulting niche coaching niche agency niche you just need a very good sales process from taking a stranger to a high ticket client in order for, for you to, for you to do that you don't really need a low ticket funnel people do a low ticket funnel so they can lower the cost of acquiring a appointment right right now with my newest funnel i'm getting the cost per book call somewhere between 50 to 150 depending on a day um, it's still too early to say of course but let's say if i spent three thousand dollars on ads um, and the cost per book call remains at 100 i'm gonna book 30 calls which is extremely extremely good for my situation because I cannot really take more than like three to five clients at a time and i already booked i already closed one client and i have another in the pipeline who is like we're just like uh, i'm just waiting f for them to pay for them to pay the invoice so from the from the beginning from the beginning this funnel makes a lot more sense to me when should you build a low ticket funnel in my experience if you already have like a high ticket funnel working if you're already uh, making money you should go for like a low ticket funnel but a lot of people say it actually takes less money to optimize a low ticket funnel because you're just making some sales and making some money back which is kind of the kind of true i don't argue that but also what you need to have in mind is that the low ticket funnel has a lot of moving elements it's a lot more complex with the low ticket funnel you need to have maybe like four to six products to make it work you can have a sales page you can have order bumps you you can have upsells downsells cross sales whatever they call it so the complexity of the low ticket funnel is kind of like kind of like a lot of moving pieces and to make the whole ticket the whole low ticket funnel work you just need to optimize 
each little thing, right? Each little thing. For example, if the front end offer doesn't work, you just need to recreate it or maybe like replace the product or position the product in a different way. If people are not buying the order bump, again, you need to change the the order bump or just like phrase it in a different way. So there is like a lot more work going into optimizing low ticket funnel. When it comes to like high ticket funnel, depending on how you set up things, the optimization there is not that long. For example, you have a an opt-in page and the opt-in page you have a name, name and email. So here the thing that you need to optimize would be the opt-in rate. Usually you want to get it above 20%. Above 20% will be really, really good. Then you have a booking page. Uh, on the booking page, people can actually go and book a call. Here you you want to aim for like 3% at least booking rate. And when you do calls, some people won't show up on the calls. So you need to figure out how to optimize your show up rate, right? You can do like SMS automation. You can do email automation. For example, Calendly, if you use Calendly, they have a good reminder series. So uh, you can use those. But pretty much the the truth for me, why I did like low ticket funnels, if I have to be completely honest with you, is I was avoiding the sales work. I didn't want to go on, go on calls. I didn't want to talk to people, close clients, because this was like appealing to me in marketing. I just wanted to sit on my computer and see money rolling in, in my uh, bank account. And another thing I noticed after like working with clients, I was selling... I'm selling online courses. Some people are still buying the online courses. They find the link to organic. And I did like some consulting calls with the people who bought my online courses. And what I noticed is that they don't implement the online courses properly. So information without proper implementation is useless. That's why I wanted to transition to maybe like a done with you or done for you type of service because I think this will help people much more. If you think about it, any information that we have right now is just one click away. You can go to ChatGPT, type the prompt, and you're and you're gonna have a pretty decent answer. What I think we need right now is proper implementation, and that's why I created my latest high ticket funnel. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do sales calls, I'm gonna talk to clients because this was the work I was avoiding. I was scared uh, of doing sales for some reasons i had this mindset of me not being a good speaker i thought in order for you to close sales you need to be a smooth talker however when i thought about it i already had clients right and i closed those clients on the phone so in retrospection i already did the work i was avoiding uh, for such a long time so I'm going in the sales process with a new mind frame. I already have for this week, it's still Monday. I have, I think, seven or eight calls upcoming. It's maybe more, I'm not sure. But still, it's a very, very good beginning. So wish me good luck, guys. And if I have to be honest with you, you could make the low ticket funnel profitable on its own. You could make the mid-ticket funnel profitable on its own, but it's going to be extremely difficult because you rely on Facebook ads or YouTube ads quite a lot. If you have an organic channel like YouTube channel of five, of like half a million subscribers, just go for a low-ticket funnel. It's going to make a lot of sense. Create a $200 online course, create a $500 like online course, do a book funnel. It's going to work because you don't have to spend money on traffic. However, if you don't have built, if you don't have any funnels, start with a high ticket funnel, right? And I can help you build your own high ticket funnel. I'm, I'm gonna help you run ads to the uh, whole ticket funnel. So I'm gonna create the entire process for you. Yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, watch my videos in order and I'm gonna talk to you soon.